All right, hello everybody. Today is, oh, you can see my little infrared going there. Today is Saturday, March 9th, 2019. It's about 10.30 in the morning. And today we are heading out to Roanoke, Virginia. So we're gonna be heading out there for a week. I'm gonna be seeing Andrew and some other people out there. So this is gonna be quite an interesting trip. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You can see today, we have some great weather conditions. Heavy rain, storms, it's gonna be just a wonderful commute to St. Louis because first thing we gotta do to be able to get on the airplane is we gotta drive up to St. Louis. Because I'm cheap, and I don't wanna spend like whatever, like $60 to park my car for a week, uh, we're gonna go to Jacob's because uh, Jacob has allowed me to be able to park my car in like the back of his house and I can leave it there for a week and then we're going to take the bus up to the, well, actually the bus to the Metrolink up to the airport. So this adventure is going to have, a, it's going to have cars, it's going to have trains, it's going to have planes, it's going to have it all. It is raining out so that might limit some of the videos I'll get especially on the transit portion but definitely this is going to be a fun trip. Going to have a lot of fun and hope you enjoy the little trip report as we head out to Roanoke. So let's go ahead and get going here. Alright guys, so it is about 11.52 and we just arrived here at Jacob's house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run inside and open up the gate in the back. I'm actually going to pull my car onto his little parking pad back there. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I've got the gate open back here and uh, let's see how difficult this is. Jacob was it wrong when he said this is going to be a pain. Well, I think that'll do it. I hope I'm far enough in. Let's see. Yeah, I'm up to the front there. Oh, look at my tire. Oh, man. Look at the mud. Oh, that was Jacob. You have mud in your thing. Yeah, this is this is going to work great. Yeah, there's plenty of room here. I'll put this back in here. What the heck? Perfect. All right, so my car's parked out there. Next thing we need to do is wait for a bus. So the next one is in 19 minutes. We'll pick it up right out there. We're taking the 90. We're gonna take that up to Forest Park Station on the Metrolink, and then take that up to the airport. So I got my little gateway card here. So all we gotta do is just wait, and then we'll head up to the bus. All right, we're here at the bus stop. Number 90 here. We have to wait about eight minutes.
Station, North Hanley Station, connecting buses. Number 4, Natural Bridge, 34 in City, 35 Rock Road, 37 Hanley Ground, 38 Hayes of Wood, 39 Mercury Florence at 47 Clayton North County, 49 North Lindbergh, 61 Changes Road, 77 at Donald Lindbergh, 79 Ferguson, 98 Dallas, North Hanley. North Hanley Station, that station stop doors will open to my left.
Lambert Airport. This will be the end of the line for this red line westbound train. Make the buses off 49 North Monday, 66 Clayton Airport. There's an elevator, we're not gonna ride it. We have a Montgomery escalator here at the airport. So, uh, next we need to get through security and then we can uh, wait at the gate.
folks, uh, for the flight deck. I'm flight 360 basins. Uh, we're getting on the east side of the uh, rain showers now. But uh, looks like Atlanta has already uh, got us uh, starting down for our arrival into Atlanta. Uh, Mother Nature's kind of pushing us along. Uh, right on into Atlanta, it's about 110 miles out. So, I'm going to ask our flight attendants to consider this initial. You'll see the commencement preparation and cap for arrival into Atlanta. We'll have the seatbelt sign off for the main of the uh, flight as we are already uh, descending into uh, Atlanta. Ground weather, uh, just some scattered clouds right now. Overcast skies up into higher altitudes. Visibility in excess of nine miles. No mention of any precipitation at the, uh, at the airport right now. And uh, wind's currently out of the south at about five miles an hour. Just checking in with our approach control now. They're telling us that we do have uh, rain showers between us and the field. So we're just going to ask our flight attendants to consider this both initial and final. We'll see them pick up the cabin and be in a position to take their seats for our arrival. Once again, we appreciate your patience. Should be touching down in approximately 25 to 30 minutes.
on the train today though so uh let's go see where the next one is so we don't actually need to ride the train but we're going to just for the fun of it i'm gonna ride down to like terminal d or something right back Airbus A319. 
be as exciting as the uh, MD-80, but it'll be cool.
is marked as a gate and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Please be very careful when opening the overhead bins to avoid injury from items that might have shifted during our flight. Feel free to use your mobile devices at this time. However, all other carry-on items do need to remain stowed. If we're leaving the aircraft tonight, please take a quick look around your seat. It certainly has been our pleasure having you on board. Let's go for air travel. Once again, you'll think of us here at Delta. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your weekend. but uh, landing was pretty rough. So, but, all right, let's go see what we have in store. See what Andrew's gonna do here. All right, well it's about uh, 10.25 in <sighs> the morning. Look who it is. Oh my gosh. What? I don't know, but I just, I, I those, that, that, that um, I didn't want chili dogs from Texas Tavern. I mean, hot dogs are bad enough, but put chili on it, and I mean, like I said, I feel like there's an atomic explosion getting ready to go off in my bowels right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> this thing is a piece of, you know what? Look at this, I think it just broke. That's what you get for buying cheap eBay stuff. No, this came from Walmart. Oh, same thing. I guess my phone's just gonna bounce around. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, last night once I got here, we went down to Texas Tavern, got something to eat. Place is pretty awesome. Um, we'll see how awesome my fast charger is. Yeah, and just foaming over his new fast charger. And uh, so what we're gonna do today is heading down to the museum, and we're gonna do another uh, reworking of that. It's not as bad as you think it's gonna be, Jason. Yeah. I didn't trash it that bad. Well, we're gonna move all your crap to the other the other unit and organize, yeah. not just throw it in there, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna stack it and make it nice. So. Here's the hotel we're staying in too. It's Howard Johnson. All right, we're here at the uh, storage locker now, and uh, I'm ready to see this. Your new button. That, and I want to see your new unit. All right. There it is. Ah, the Salem elevator. Ready? Of course. Oh yeah. When it was colder than this. Wait. I know. Here we go. Have you seen where the door doesn't open by itself? Yep. We're gonna see that machine room too, aren't we? What? We're gonna see that machine room too, aren't we, one day? Yeah. took one of the suitcases. Oh. Andrew's dumpster diving. Someone All right. took some of the stuff that was here yesterday. All right, let's see the, uh, let's see the mess. All right, are you ready to see the mess? Please oh. don't get mad. I hope it's not as, it's not as bad. It's not that bad. Where'd you get so much more stuff on the ground here? I don't know, but look look at that over there. Oh, cool. That's yours. Go see it. Oh, this is yours, too. Wow. What is? This Yo. is yours, too. Oh, well, these are going to fabricate some light sockets. MB, babe. I just shoved some MBs in there. Yo, that's so cool. This is yours, I love want. those. 
Cool. What do you think? Thank you. That is epic. Well, look well we're gonna have to. We'll get this organized. What's this from? What? This. That's from an old Otis Touch thing. Where'd what? you find that? That's why you gave it to me. It's got the Adams. Oh, here's that new ThyssenKrupp thing. The yeah. key's gone. There's. So we'll uh. This will be, yeah, I think, yeah, I want to go see the new unit, see kind of how... All this stuff is going in the new unit. Yeah. And there's the motorcycle helmet you're going to wear later. <laughs> Alright, let's go see the new one. Oh, wow, that's, this is bigger than I thought it was. See, look. Oh, yeah. You see why I took this one over one about half yeah. the size? <laughs> you got the... <laughs> Of course. <laughs> you can see this in the window. Yeah. I'm going right. to put something in the window elevator related. Cool. All right, well. Like we could put one of the spare Westy panels up there. <laughs> I mean, see, well, what do you think of it? What do you think this of this? This is pretty good. This is neat. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are stage two of the elevator museum. Uh-oh. Something happened. He yelled for us. Well, <laughs> anyway, I think he said it stinks. That's what I heard. Oh, it's probably that bag then. They're probably that stink bag. But anyway, so if you remember at the beginning here, we had all the crap, all his other stuff. So, and then he's kind of piled everything up here again. So this has become an utter mess. But now that we've got pretty much all the stuff out of here, we can display all elevator stuff now. So what we're going to do is get some shelves, move some of the big panels around, rearrange everything. We're going to display stuff in there. This thing's going to be really cool when it's done. I'm really right. impressed with So about this. what time do you think it is right now? Uh, I can tell you exactly what time it is. It is uh, 6.45. So we've spent a few we hours, hours here. We have um, back up a little bit. I'm going to get a picture So of we've side. done a lot of work here at the museum and pretty much, for the most part, have it done. Minus one shelf. We're going to get another shelf just like that one and put it over wow. there. But you've got, this is the shelf that didn't really change all that much from last time. But I'm not going to do a full tour right now. We'll do the full tour when we're done. So well, we're going to go eat and then get another shelf. Yep. All right, so we've got the shelf now that's going in. Yep, this is our second shelf right now. It'll look just like that one when it's completed. Yeah, we'll be able to take a proper tour of this place when we're done. Um, but that shelf is going to go here. We're going to move this cart over there and then get everything on the shelf so it's gonna look really nice all I'm right a picture of you two in there so it's okay. we're kind of at the end here of the day and look at this it went from wow so what do the viewers think of the elevator museum they say it looks nice though wow look what at do this. they think about this so this is the tour andrew you want to give the tour yeah andrew you're, i don't know i need to arrange it <laughs> you're, you're the, start us at the beginning yeah this is the main display, this is this stuff, and this is this stuff. <laughs> Come on. Andrew. I need to learn more about what I have since I, now I, I actually can figure out what I have. We'll just pan the camera here, you guys can see. I mean, there is, and a lot of the stuff is slowly becoming interactive. Yes. Where you can press, like, I mean, you know, I mean, more and more stuff as it goes through, uh, comes out to me. Through the St. Louis Elevators Elevator Workshop. Yeah. We have Westinghouse. This is a. A Triangle. classic example of Westinghouse. Yeah, we got, you know, obviously we got our... You can wire up one of the cathedral buttons, 36 floors. That's going to be a project. Obviously the big ones over here, and we've, this is a new display here. We finally brought this thing back, and we've got all the logos. We've got little, just random things over here. <coughs> <coughs> trinkets and such capacity plates all the logos capacity plates yeah, so just, uh, and then these are the new shelves so this, so this kind of all stayed the same well, yeah, they, for they, the most they, part like said, don't, don't worry. I mean, but over cool. here is where a lot of the you changes know, happen you know, we finally got some more shelves where we can put all of our stuff look at that so I mean I think this place looks good we got this little cart so with some things like this selector here you can kind of play with it you can play with the rotary phone and then this is just more of just like extra stuff. We've got an extra panel there. These buttons are going to me eventually to wire, and then they'll come back here. But anyway, Andrew, what do you think of uh, our efforts today? I really appreciate both y'all's help. You have fun today? Oh yeah, it was fun. This was actually a fun project. It was. Yeah. I think this project was more fun than the last one because the last one was just so much so much work but. yeah but this one i mean i really i mean the move was probably the hardest part yeah, yeah. so now we're gonna go have some fun yeah 
She's on much R and R time. It's gonna All right, well, that'll be it here. Camera does. Wow. All right, so after a long day of work at the museum, it's so weird. It's funny seeing the star white instead of red, white, and blue. There is the Roanoke Star. That's cool. And there's the view. <coughs> the LGV20. It's downtown. And up there. There's the airport. You have no idea how hard it is to see that. Pretty cool. Lawrence trying to get his camera going. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, guys, it's about 11.45 in the morning, March 11th, and we are getting ready to head down to Norfolk, Virginia. We're gonna see uh, Aaron and Jeff down there. So Andrew's gonna be running the camera. He's getting his motorcycle helmet right now. Yeah, it was sitting on the motorcycle. Lawrence left on the motorcycle. Nice. So, uh, you want to explain the significance of the motorcycle helmet for today's I may be driving a motorcycle. Yeah, so, uh, that might be interesting. So, yeah. anyway, I'm going to be driving down there, so... I'll uh, be operating the camera. The, the next... Yeah, the, this next part is uh, all Andrew's doing. So, if it's really bad, you blame him. All right, back out So, let's way. go. So we got our McDonald's. There's yours. Okay, and there's mine. I got two fish sandwiches. I'm hungry. First, you gotta make a big gulp. Yep. You probably haven't cleaned that thing in months. Uh, I cleaned it uh, about a week ago. With shampoo? Yep. <laughs> it doesn't work. It should be self cleaning. I just spilled all over the seat. And I got Diet Coke on my butt. <laughs> I'm gonna take my fresh. I would have gotten you an order. Oh wow, this looks good. Mmm. One thousand feet. Let's get back on the road. There goes one of your many phones. So this is the hotel we're staying in. <laughs> um, are you, so literally, I think we're about to walk across an area that is falling apart. So there's caution tape because literally the building's collapsing. Yeah, and the room, the rooms are just as bad. Completely Sag, yeah. I can see that. I can see it. Yeah, Jacob gave me one. Oh, now it's coming back on. All right, this is dinner. I've never actually used this camera for. You better put this on YouTube, Andrew. We mad if you don't. All right, who do we have right here? We is, have. Is that my camera or is that nose. yours? This is Aaron's. We have a nose right here. We have a beard so right here. And, beard. and we have a glass All right, so what is this here? This is Fort Monroe. So there's a tunnel here that we get to go through. Oh, Stop. cool, it's a little bitty. Yeah. It's teeny weeny. Stop here on red. Okay. Right. And watch, it. it'll go in a second. Yes, Andrew, we needed your absolute reassurance. <laughs> There's some behind us. Oh, there's now. the Ford Escape behind me. Second to let it clear out. There, there we go. Let's take a look. There we go. This is like going at Bissett Park at Radford. That's the something just like this. How the hell, hell am I supposed to see? Am I going to be able to fit through this? Yeah, you are. There's plenty of room. You can fit it. Oh, this is here. cool. Andrew, you're being a backseat driver. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, wow. And the Cadillac would be fun to take through this. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. I guess we're going to make it right here. Yeah, I guess that's the other uh, way. Yeah, one way. So this is the inside here. Yeah, this is inside. 
Like that uh, little wall thing goes all the way around it. Oh, so it's like the Great Wall of China. <laughs> Flood wall. Or it's, like, it's a mound. Like is this, this like residences here? Or, or like the Mexican wall we need to build. The the barracks. Yeah, this is definitely like a barracks right here. Yeah. There's a couple of museums and stuff here. Looks like it's been redone though. They got their Christmas lights up still. This is an, oh, is this all the way around already? Or is there like... No, we didn't go all the way yet. Um, what's this right here? Can we go through here? Yeah, if you want to. I think this is another tunnel. Yeah, this goes back outside. Cool. Oh, wow, look at this. Tunnels. Oh, this, this will be fun to take my caddy through. Really? <laughs> That's cool. And this yeah. is like a moat right here. Yeah, there's the moat. That was cool. All right, let's off to the hospital. I suppose. Why are we going to the hospital? Elevator. For Andrew's hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> are we going right, left, straight, in, Jeff? I want something to All right. All right. Jeff right there. We're here at City and Center Oyster Point, and we've got three Wait for me. Otis That's elevators. Right We're going to start on this elevator. So we've got Andrew, Jeff, and Aaron. All right. Oh, it's glass. The all three of them are glass. Nice. We're staying out of the way. Watch the number. We're going up. Yep. Yeah. Start at the top. Is there a good view out here? Yeah, there actually is. It smells really good in here. You fart. Oh, I smell it. Yeah, he's he farted. You. Sound like pool. Going up. That's something people said a lot was that it said pool, but I don't see that. It doesn't say pool. Listen. Pool. Alright, guys, time for an elevator race. Okay, hang on. From down to one. Up to five, back to two. Okay, let's go. End of five. Hold on. Go. Okay, go up to five. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see who wins. Well, maybe, hang on, here we go. I can't tell who's winning. This is the slowest race ever. Oh, I think we're ahead. I think so. I think we're ahead. Come on. Oh no! We won! Alright, so it's pretty late in the day. Uh, what are we doing today? Well first, some top secret stuff. we got Aaron in the bag. Hi. Uh, we, did, we did some stuff with uh, someone. That we can't talk about. No. But um... But we're gonna, secret stuff. Yeah, secret, top secret, cool stuff. Um, but anyway, so we're we're on our way to see some elevators. What are we gonna go see? Aaron knows. Tell uh, the viewers. Oh, um, to Eaton. Um, we're also going to see um, Monticello Arcade, the MacArthur Memorial. If that's still open. Um, I'd like to see the MacArthur Mall. Um, and then we're gonna go to Virginia Beach because I know you want to see the beach. Yep, that would be fun. So that's gonna be, uh, so probably first is Two Eaton. All right, we're arriving at Two Eaton. So the part, there it is. The famous elevators. I never thought I'd be seeing these in person. This will be kind of cool. There are the million view elevators. Cool. Let's go ride them. All right, let's go up to 14. Eleven 
that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Seems like that's what happened last time. Remember we came here and we all of a sudden started seeing all the management around? Mm -hmm. That's funny. They just like somehow know we're here. But anyway, that was a fun little elevator adventure there. And we explored the top floor. Go Here's left, I assume. Yes. No, we're gonna go, go right. we're gonna go right and go right into the water there. We're gonna mm. take we're gonna get a drink. That's the Hampton River. Into the river. That was fun going to Eaton. You just seem right. Usually you're too wrong. Alright, well where are we heading now? Downtown. Downtown what name? Norfolk. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, you got it right. I gotta make a right hand turn here. Um I think I gotta make a turn, but you gotta be in the right lane. Here at the city center, ooh, we have Westies. Hey, listen. Oh, they're glass. I love Westies. All right, let's go up to four. Here we go. So we did a uh, little adventure there. There's one of the most wonderful elevators right there. We'll film that later. We're gonna come back down and do some more parking garage runs. There it goes. Piece of crap. But anyway, we're gonna go down to the beach now. Um, and then we'll come back here and hit some of the parking garages that are around town. This place is going to be so busy in the uh, summer, but uh, there's like coral and stuff that's washed up. This is crazy. We're just taking a nice stroll along the beach. Cool. There's a boat out there. Whoa. Whoa, it's got a side door. This is awesome. Go up to eight. Oh, is that hydraulic? 
I this think. is ten stories. Yeah, here All we right. go. Let's listen to it. Oh my goodness. Listen. Press a different button. It's not great. Right. Here we go. That sounds like a gallery. Shh. Webster Elevator. Yeah, it's not sleep around here. That's epic. Starts at the same time, ready? All right. <laughs> Slop. And there's music playing. All right, let's listen to this motor. Yeah, this is pretty epic. Andrew, we're here. All right, so uh, we're here in Norfolk, and we're doing. Uh, went to the beach, went to eat, and Andrew's got to pee. Everyone's got to pee. But I'm not peeing in a bush. But we're. I'm gonna pee in that bush. Look, I can get right behind that bush, and no one will see me. I'm going over there to pee. Hold on. Okay, well, Andrew's gonna go urinate in a bush, but. Andrew, we're to time. But. There, there's always some out here. Uh, but okay. <laughs> anyway, we're having a little elevator adventure and it's getting pretty wild down here. So, uh, yeah, here's some more elevators that we see. Andrew is literally in the bushes. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what else crazy happens. Here we go. All right, I'll take the middle car. And when we get upstairs, we'll switch elevators. All right. Here we go. Bye, Aaron. Bye. You know, it takes a hundred years to go. There's a beer bottle in here. Here we go. We're going to switch elevators up here. Here comes another one. All right, well, here's mine. Aaron's got that one. All right, I guess I get the middle one. There we go. All right. We're just elevator hopping. This is overkill at this point. It's literally overkill. Here we go. Let's see how this one sounds. Somebody wants to know if it's your birthday. Nope. Nope, not Jason's birthday. Fountain, Fountain Park Garage. I guess the elevator's here to the right, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that red camera. Hmm, weird. Oh, it's modded. 
Um, At least because his name is Jonas. Oh, it's still the light came on. There's a camera in the elevator. There's not a camera in the other one. Maybe this is not coming. Are you sure? Oh, it smells clean in here. What? Oh? Wait. Oh, look, look at this. Commonwealth elevator. What are we doing? O? Yes, O. Does it go? Yep. Grr. This is another unique little mod. The other one is a newer mod. Weird floor labeling system. Yeah, what, what even is confusing? What even is this? <laughs> the others are, I think, A, C. Yeah, kind of All right, so uh, we had to take Jason over to the. Uh, well, I had to take the Jason over on. to the. Yeah, let's to the tunnel. So we're gonna go into this tunnel. Hit, uh, it goes underneath all the Colonial Williamsburg crap. Sorry. <laughs> it's this is this is like a white car, white person vacation central. This is pretty cool. I like how perfectly round it is. It's just kind of a cool little thing in Williamsburg. <laughs> it's like, that's it. That's cooler than what's above it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty... We don't find any interest. All right, you're going to make a left or right of me. Well, that was a... F that was cool. All right, so it's the 13th, and there's the really crappy hotel. What did you think of that place? Wonderful. It was the finest. Just let's let's just show you why this place is the finest establishment in the world. Look at that. This is just the best hotel ever. Yep. We got some uh, wooden boards over there holding the floor up. Look at look at that. What the heck? That is pathetic. All right. Well. So uh, if you come to Williamsburg, definitely stay at the Motel 6, because uh, you can have this wonderful experience. Yep. So today we're probably just gonna go hang out with Aaron some more. Um, we're gonna try to get to Richmond before we close of business, because I'd like to see a couple things there. Uh, but we'll see what happens. And there's just a ton of beer cans in the woods there. What the heck? But. Anyway, this should be a uh, fun day. And there's the sign. Look at $33.99. That's how you know what the place is a dump. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. It's so original. SunTrust Bank Parking Garage. This is the SunTrust Bank Parking Garage in Richmond, and in order to slam in our face, we have an epic elevator in here. Look at this, a wet house. Wait till you see what it has. Black AE. That is awesome. the James Center here in Richmond. We have these epic glass Westies. Look at this. These ones will be replaced in the gears too. Through P5. Watch out this side going down. Do the same thing. Very fast for a hydro. 
Tim Miro of Richmond. Here's the other one. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. This was worth checking out. Oh, look. Reflect Adam's button. That's Adam's. The dungeon. I love those black buttons. I love how they go dim when you press them in. Alright, let's listen. Oh, what looks like out here. There we go. Alright, so, oh, well, that's a bump. Okay, so it's 738. You can see the infrared on my phone there, but uh, watch this. You can actually see it. Oh, yeah. Um, after spending a great day in Richmond, there, as you saw some of the cool things we saw there, um, we're now heading back towards Roanoke. And we're going to stop in, uh, what's, where? Stanton? Yeah, we're going to see Evan. We're going to see Evan for a little while and uh, we had a long it was a pretty pretty long day actually we did a whole lot today but so we'll see Evan and then we'll head back to Roanoke and then maybe we'll go somewhere tonight probably not but you never we know get to Roanoke night. yeah so we'll probably just go back to the hotel chill but tomorrow we got to do we're gonna do a, uh, a pretty detailed video about the the new museum so that'll be fun and I, I, we don't really have any other plans for tomorrow. We may we may see some elevators or something. Whatever. We'll just probably tomorrow will be just kind of a chill day. And, but yeah, so it's been uh, it's been pretty great. It's getting dark now, so we'll see what happens when we get to stand. All right, so we're uh, literally out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and those are the sounds you hear out here. Ew. And we are uh, checking out this old bridge. Once my camera gets geo lock, we're gonna take a picture. Oh. There, I got it. Go touch this fence right here. Ugh. We're doing a long exposure of the bridge. I did mine right up there. Like, I did mine right up there. Oh, yeah, I, I like that. Let me see the light when you're ready for me to... I'm going to do 20 seconds. Okay. Let me see the light. Tell me before you release the shutter. We're literally out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if you guys can hear it. The electric fence is sparking. See? But, pretty cool. This is one of two bridges we're going to look at. Alright, so today is Thursday, right? Yep. And, so we're back from... Uh, tidewater area and today we went over and did a little museum tour video so that was fun but that's all we've really done today's gonna be kind of a chill day probably yeah, just we, gonna... we actually gotta sleep in today mm -hmm. so we're just gonna do a few various things we're gonna mail some stuff get the car clean do less exciting things today, so this will be kind of a not so exciting day, but exciting at the same time. So, <laughs> I'm gonna take a poop today. Oh wow, that's gonna be not very exciting. <laughs> All right, so it's about 10 o'clock here, and we just good. we just ate at Texas Tavern, and uh, I very much love the chili. Here comes Lauren. So we're gonna go do some elevators. Yeah. Woo. I don't feel like peeing on top of a parking garage tonight, so we're going to do seats real quick. Wow. All right, we are here in downtown Roanoke at the one and only Market Parking Garage. And we're going to take a ride on the elevator. This is viscosity control is running. No, it doesn't ding anymore. It doesn't ding, no. 
All right, we'll get in and listen to the motor. <laughs> I got attacked by the elevator. All right, now we'll listen. All right, listen. over. <laughs> they both light up going down. And right here we have the center in the square garage and we're gonna watch Andrew and Lawrence just got shut out. Uh-oh. Something just happened in there. Did you hold the door open? <laughs> no, it wouldn't close. It like started to close and it Advanced relay launcher. <laughs> yeah, you just pro you just proved your point. See, it's acting weird. What? Oh, holding the door open. see a whole lot out the window. Let's go ahead and hop out here and have a look. There's the Wells Fargo building. What's in the bell? This is such a smooth elevator. <laughs> wow. Look at that, it stays lit. Watch, watch. So we're going through the tunnel under the runway right now. Yep. This is probably runway, uh... Oh, yeah, it's not that long. No, but it's still kind of cool. Woo! Oh, it's bright. Honk the horn, someone says. Andrew, the horn button on your car sucked. <laughs> All right, so it is Friday morning, and we are currently stay here. Yep, we are currently heading towards Lynchburg. Well, you got to go to the hotel first because you might have left your lock. Or no, what'd you leave? Flashlight. Oh, flashlight. You left something else. Yeah, so we're gonna see if he left his flashlight there, and then we're gonna head out to Lynchburg and see a few elevators and. And come back and maybe I think we're gonna do something with Lawrence tonight for his birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday tonight. So yeah, we're, we'll be doing that. But we're gonna go see a few elevators in Lynchburg and then come back this way. All right, we just arrived here in Bedford. We're gonna see a few elevators and stuff here. Bedford, Virginia. <laughs> we're gonna start off with the Wells Fargo over there. All right, we're at Wells Fargo here in Bedford, Virginia. Look at this 80th fail. Here we go. Oh, they took off the bumper. All right, let's listen. Here in Bedford County Courthouse. Bedford Look at this. County Courthouse. Before we lose it, we're gonna ride it. Too bad the chime doesn't work. We haven't been on this thing in a long time. And it's gonna sit here open for a while. Here we go. Let's listen to it down.
bright on the outside. We went to Bedford, we saw some neat elevators. Yep. Andrew's currently being Andrew. Alright, well, all right, well, we're heading over to Lynchburg now. We're going to see some elevators there. And Lynchburg now and uh, we're gonna have a look around and ride some elevators of course I've been very thorough right all right but anyway we're here in Lynchburg so we're gonna I'm gonna tell you the go people here in Lynchburg are a little snobby yeah <laughs> wow I've read in some rude people here but the guy that owns this building up here is really nice all right well we're gonna go see what we can find all right we're here at 916 Main Street in Lynchburg Look at this, vintage southern elevator. It's DC. All right, we'll go down to one. here at the Lynchburg Public Elevator. Here it comes. Oh boy. Get ready for the view. Here we go. I'll have to look out both sides. Yeah, we'll take a couple rides on it. No phone. phone. No phone, it's on the panel. Yeah. It's the old Bank of America. Look at Lynchburg. This. this is what they used to be. Oh wow, that would have been a lot cooler. Look at that. The other one you can see out the windows. Oh, I remember seeing these on your channel a long time ago. Still sound at the guard send up to London. Here we go. Let me shut the door. It's not going to go anywhere without the door shut. Are you going to get up? All right. All right, stop. All right, we're outside of Texas Tavern. Place is amazing. We've got a whole gang of everyone here. We've got a whole gang of people. We got Shannon, Jared, Nick, Lawrence, Logan, Sebastian, Jason, and me, and we're all gonna pile in an elevator. We're gonna go ride the Church Avenue Garage Let's elevator. Go ride the it's on one end. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, yeah. Yours. 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 We're here already? Yep, we're here already. Dang, huh? Dang. Can we go out and get a view? Sure. Yeah. All right, it's about uh, eight o'clock in the morning and uh, we're heading over to the airport here. She's literally just right over there conveniently. I'm out here at nine on a CRJ 900. Uh, again, going through Atlanta. MD88 back to St. Louis. Uh, Jacob won't be there to get me, so we'll be back on the train and the bus again. So basically, we're gonna be doing what we just saw at the beginning here at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Except in reverse. Um, yeah. There's the airport over there. That's where we're heading right now. Hopefully, the sun won't get in the way of the video. If it does, I apologize, but you know, I can't really control that. But uh, yeah, so we'll be heading out of here shortly. We got this uh, paper. We get to go down the steps. There it is, CRJ 900. Your seatbelt must be securely fastened at this time. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle. Tighten by pulling on the strap so it is low and tight across your lap. Passengers to comply with crew instructions, posted placards, and lighted information signs. Smoking, including the use of e-cigarettes, is not allowed on any Delta Connection flight. Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying restroom smoke detectors. This aircraft has two forward doors, one on each side, and four window exits over the wing. All exits are clearly marked with exit signs and instructions for operation. In an emergency, lights will illuminate the aisle to guide you to an exit. Please locate the exits nearest you, and keep in mind they may be behind you.
pleasure having all you having you on board today. As we're preparing for landing, please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened. Seat backs and train tables are in a upright and locked position. Windows in the exit row and seat 1A are unobstructed, and your arm aisle rest is lowered.
are in Delta 34. My next one's in Bravo 10, so we have to go to the plane train. <laughs>
for the local time is 12, 12 p.m. Please note there has been a time change an hour back. Please remain seated with your books and silly vacuums. Entertain item 30 so the aircraft is parked at the gate and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Please be careful when opening over his bench to avoid injured from items that may have shifted during flight. Please remain seated with devices at this time. Before leaving the aircraft, take a quick look around your seat and make sure you have everything brought on board. Your satisfaction is always important to us. In the next several days, you may receive an email survey from Delta asking to rigor travel experience. We value the feedback. Please take a few moments to let us know how we're doing and thank you. We look forward to hearing from you. Visit Delta.com for all your future travel needs, including checking in for a flight and landing in your SkyMiles account. On behalf of Delta, thank you again for sharing your journey with us. We've enjoyed having you on board and hope to see you again. Have a wonderful afternoon. back here in St. Louis. Since Jacob's at work, I gotta take the bus back to his place. So we're going to the Metrolink to head back towards Jacob's. All right guys, we're back here at Jacob's now. And I'm ready to head back to my place. So Jacob, if you're watching this, huge thanks for letting me uh, park my car here for the week. But I just gotta open up the gate here, pull it around front and we're out of here. All right, guys, it's about 3.34 in the afternoon. Just arrived at home. It's about an hour, about an hour, 15 minute drive from the airport, actually from Jacob's house. So that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip. Super epic, epic traveling, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed the travel. Obviously the elevators and the fun, we did a whole lot of stuff. A few thank yous I wanna give out before I end. First of all, obviously, huge thank you to Andrew for you know having me out there, taking me around. Just thank you so much, Andrew, for, for the great time. Another thing, Jacob, he let me park there for the week for free, so huge shout out to Jacob. And all the other people that we met, had a fun hanging out with all you guys, you were really awesome. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I had a lot of fun making it, definitely had a lot of fun on the trip. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.